this cannot be real. This is the perfect time to buy. Store your food today. I really didn't want to think that the powers that be that labeled us as numbers rather than humans with names, but it's clear that this is happening. Not in the way that you would expect though. Like if it was to count the population, that would be fine, right? But this data tracker assigned us a C19 score. What good does it do for them? Well, they just boasted about how they basically influenced a huge number of people for the elections. Do you think that it's okay for anyone to use our own data to sway our vote one way or another? Drop me a quick comment yes or no down below. Also, have you been out to the grocery store lately to buy anything? Silly question. Who hasn't? Or maybe you drop by Walmart or Home Depot. Did you notice that things seem to be stocked up much more than normal? Also, did you happen to notice how many more things are being locked up that you can't even access without reaching out to a sales associate to unlock it for you? Yeah, so this is another sign of the coming economic downturn, but they keep telling us that everything's just fine. Everything's just fine. Do you believe that for one second? For your daily dose of the truth when it comes to the US economy, the stock market, fourth stimulus package updates, passive income, social Social security and everything that's going on in Washington, D.C. that affects our families, our lives, and our bank accounts. Make sure to hit the subscribe button now. Also, thank you as always for dropping a like for the videos. Totally appreciate you guys' support and make sure you and your family are protected. Protect your number one most valuable asset, which is your home for most Americans. Get your free home warranty quote. You'll find a link for that in the description down below. It only takes like 15, 20 seconds. Totally 100% free for your free quote. Get it now. You will thank me later. Now, if it seems like your local retail are starting to look the same, well, don't be confused. This isn't another episode of the Twilight Zone. Now with Christmas coming up, we are starting to see store shelves fill with decorations, but there's something oddly familiar here. I just can't quite put my finger on it. Well, some retailers like Costco, Express, and Kohl's, they're trying to sell stuff that they've had since Christmas 2021. <laughs> Talk about the ghost of Christmas past, right? You're not imagining things, guys. It is not just them for sure. I've been seeing Target, Walmart, Home Depot, all these major retailers, they're pretty much doing the same. And have you seen some of the prices on some of their electronics? Prices continue to go down. Now, although food is still an issue, the price of food keeps going up. In fact, back in April, it was found that almost 42% of Americans are on SNAP EBT benefits. That's like 13% of our population. No wonder these major retailers can't sell their inventory. We're just too busy just trying to get by. It's not like they've waken up to the reality that stimulus checks at least the federal stimulus checks are now gone for the time being and we're all just pretty much running on empty when it comes to our wallets. Now I've seen people commenting that they've been delinquent with their credit cards for the first time and if this is not a clear sign of what's to come, I don't know what is. Since I've already talked about food, here's something that happened just now. Putin just exited a grain deal that was supposed to help ease global hunger. This was obviously met with anger from the West, that's us, and even the European Union. Western powers have have criticized Russia's decision to halt a deal allowing Ukraine to export grain from ports in the Black Sea. The Kremlin says it's suspending the agreement in retaliation for a drone attack against its fleet moored off the coast of occupied Crimea. EU foreign policy chief Josep Borrell called on Russia to reverse its decision to help avoid a global food crisis. And U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken urged Moscow to stop weaponizing food. The U.N. brokered grain deal has seen more than 9 million tons of grain exported from Ukraine during the war and helped to bring down surging global food prices. They even said that the decision to suspend participation in the Black Sea deal puts at risk the main export route of much needed grain and fertilizers to address the global crisis caused by its war. Well, gas prices are up and down. Although I think that we're going to see a trend up again with winter, might as well keep food prices up there too, right? I mean, what more could go wrong? Well, we could keep giving more of our taxpayer money into a proxy war that we're technically not involved in rather than use the available funds to send out another stimulus check to the American American people who rely on them to survive given that we're at the brink of a recession. Well, at least that's what others think. I somehow feel like we're already in one. Now at the same time, I feel like we keep digging ourselves into a bigger hole with all this debt. Now I saw this funny, but at the same time, not funny comic where kids who went trick or treating were given papers that had student loans instead of candy. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys already understood the joke there, but you know, again, it's hard to argue with people who have hardly anything to pay for all their expenses. These are people with jobs. They're being forced into food banks. It's crazy. Some places across the country have actually invested into universal basic income. It's kind of like a monthly stimulus check and studies have shown that these have improved many lives. But nah, why give us 
stimulus checks when they could easily instead just track our every move and sway our vote one way or another. What am I talking about? Well, if you look up PredictWise online, you'll see this company that's boasting about tracking the data, opinions, attitudes, and behavior of more than 260 million Americans. How? From our cell phone data. They even know our location as well as media consumption. And I know what you're saying. That's insane. Who would do such a thing? Well, Arizona Senator Mark Kelly was able to use this data to get 40,000 persuasions. Those people are voters, by the way. And if you check the website, PredictWise has quite a client list from 2020. Check this out. A lot of Democrats on that list. And again, I don't mean to choose sides or anything like that, but the truth is right on their website. And if you think about it, most of our phones, they can hear us when the screen's off, right? Well, the 40,000 persuasions that Kelly got, they were targets that would normally have fallen off. But with this company, they got the message right to them at the right time just to get their vote. Amazing stuff, huh? Now, the legality of it, it's a gray area, but how would you feel if you knew that someone was snooping in your phone data? I bet you wouldn't be all that happy. The health crisis actually opened a lot of doors for companies like this, I bet. And if our data is being sold to the highest bidder, I fear what else people might know about us. With all that information, you would think that the government would realize how bad housing is right now, how layoffs are starting to creep in, and how many companies are starting to cut off the workforce while they still can. It's not like we're swimming with a huge cash flow right now, are we? There's plenty of households that live paycheck to paycheck. Losing a job today would mean that next month's rent is not getting paid. Now, speaking of not getting paid, look at what's happening in Illinois. Data has just been released. 132,000 public employees and retirees are earning a new minimum wage of $100,000 or more. Wow. There's actually some who make almost half a million dollars a year, and you wonder why crime is high there. Bus drivers in Chicago make $242,000 a year. Barbers at state corrections make $104,000 a year. And check this out. College presidents make $418,000 a year. Has your mind been blown? And good for them, right? But they're getting paid on our taxpayer money. I can already see at least one comment saying that the police department must not be getting paid much because crime is high there. But the same research shows that the police and fire department of Chicago paid 600 employees there between $200,000 and $480,000 in cash compensation in 2021. So who's paying for all this stuff, huh? Well, I'm pretty sure that you guys have a really, really good idea on who that is. What are your thoughts on today's updates? Make sure to share them in the comment section down below. I'm already looking forward to the conversations that we're going to be starting with friends regarding this video. And while you guys are down there, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. Also, if you're brand new to the channel and you want to keep up to date with everything that matters to you regarding our economy and your bank account, make sure to subscribe because if you want the truth, you know where to find it. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to get your free home warranty quote. The link is in the description down below. This is Ron. I wish you guys all good health and better days to come. I'll see you on the next one.